It's under. I ain't afraid of work. I ain't afraid of play. I ain't afraid to get the job done and do it my own damn way. I ain't afraid of life. Times like this. If you mess with my freedom, I'll tell you just what you can kiss. That's right. Hey there folks, this is Josh Stoney Ridge Farmer. Welcome back to the farm. Got two helpers here. George with no YouTube channel <laughs> and Mitch with Horn and Hammer Kikos. Kikos. Yes, yeah. sir. Guys, check the channel out. There'll be a link down in the video description. Today, what we've got to do is tie fence wire off. And this is a two to three man procedure. Believe it or not, there's some very simple ties that tie these posts to this fence. This is woven wire fence. This is Titan 13, 48, 12, meaning we have 13 line wires going horizontally, 12 inch stay spacing, which is in between here. And this is a fixed knot. So this is called the Titan fixed knot. And we're gonna be tying wire all the way up through as far as the eye can see. And as far as the eye can see down that way. You boys ready? Ready. <laughs> Ready. Ready. Break. All right. So for you guys watching and for these guys learning, this is their first time working with woven wire on steel post, right? Right. So what we're doing is we're attaching a tie to the post. Some of these we'll have to push down to match up to the post appropriately. And what we want to have underneath here is just generally a boot thickness underneath. So one guy will have to push down while the other guy measures with his boot. So we want about three to four inches down low. This is a flexible number because as we go up, the hills and the hollers undulate. It goes up and down and up and down. So with this section right here, super easy. Bam, 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 tie it to the post. If we're pulling down, in other words, if the fence wire is up in the air like this, then we need to start at the bottom. We get three of them on there and then the person holding the wire can let it go. If we're doing pulling it down this direction, we're gonna tie from the bottom. If we're pushing up, we wanna tie from the top. So some of this fence will be down on the ground, like way down low, and you can see some of that down there. If it's up in the air, we need to pull from down. If it's down in the ground, we need to pull from the top. So if we have to pull it up, we tie from the top down, and if we have to pull down, we tie from the top up. Make sense? Got it. Confusing yet? <laughs> um, every post doesn't get 13 ties, so there are 13 line wires here, 12 inch stay spacing. We're going to get posts that line up right on the knot, so that is a, one of the challenges that we have to overcome. We also, when we put our post tie on, it can't be facing straight out like that, because if you drive by on the mower with the mower or something, it'll rip a hole through the tire. So it has to be facing this direction or that direction always has to be going that way or that way, never out that way and never in this way. When we put our post tie in, we're not gonna put it in right here, we gotta encapsulate the wire, so we gotta catch that wire. Um, so, that being said, you got a bottom wire down here. See that wire there? It has to be tied in with the bottom, okay? So it's always tied in with the very bottom wire. So we have double security. Basically, if you get into a point where you don't feel like you have more than about three inches of post above here, we're gonna take it all the way to the ground because I've got to put insulators in here and we're gonna run electric fence all the way along the top of this. And this is 35 acres to fence in the cows. So for you guys to know, let me get you a little close up. What I explained to them is if we're pulling the fence down, then we've got to start at the bottom because the tension is gonna be more at the bottom. And if we're pulling the fence from up, then we've got, or upward, in other words, we're pulling it up that way, then we need to start at the top. Wherever there is a massive amount of tension needed, and you will see this up top where there's, you can walk under the fence wire. Right now it's six feet in the air. There'll be a massive amount of tension needed. That's when we'll put 13 ties on. But typically we're only putting five ties on each. So this one, which is super simple, super easy to just mash down, that will only get five ties. So it would be one, two, three, four, five, evenly spaced. What do you think? Got it. Now, Simple. skid loaders here, because we're gonna get into a position where we have to lift the fence up, pull it out of the dirt. And that's gonna be quite the challenge, is pulling it up out of the dirt and pulling it down. So we'll have to put that stretcher bar in to hold it into the fence. 
while we pull down with the chain and the pallet forks on the skid steer. So that's why skid steer's over here. Cool? Simple enough. We'll do some easy ones first. We need to see if we can get this up a little bit. So we'll again, raise that up to where you can get one foot underneath, but be careful because you can wait, wait, you can really mess up here and this wire can go shing right over the top. So what we're dealing with not only is tension on the bottom of the post, but tension also, some of these will become like arrows. You know what I mean? Because when we get up there and there's wire that high, you got to be very careful. You've got to tie down to the lowest point. Uh, so up with this, just where you could get a foot under there, which is well beyond where we are. So we probably need to bring it on down and try to, you're on top of the other wire, there smooth wire, yeah. Okay, so we'll go back down. About right there. About there. And we can tie off the four inches. And this really isn't gonna matter so much. So, we're gonna go to the top wire. See how we're hung up? We're kind of screwed up in there. Mm -hmm. We wanna go under that so it doesn't bind it up. We'll just go right here. One person needs to be on one side of the fence and another person needs to be on the other side. It works typically better. Um, so we'll just ring it off. That's it. We're not gonna get away from that knot, are we? No, it's all right. So like that? Yep, bring it all, wait, wait. Bring it all, all the way as up. tight as you can. There all you right. go. Ooh, that's it. Boom. Right on. And then you, it, so you get it set. Once he gets it in, you grab the next one and go to it. And I'll be on the machine here in a minute and then we'll make life a whole lot easier. Yep, and then just break those off. Be sure you get one on the top and one on the bottom. You gotta catch that bottom uh, smooth wire that's on the ground. So, cool? Yep. Thanks, fellas. This one needs to come up a little. Right there. So I always try to line them up and then I'll give a little squeeze until I find a sweet spot. And then let it rip. So just a little bump. That's a, that flex uh, is an awesome uh, drill. I find the flex is better than the DeWalt and better than the uh, really? Milwaukee so far. So I just feather it. So you're feathering yeah. it with just one. Are no, you feathering it with me. two? Yeah. And it's kind of push oh, 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 like that. Right. But don't do that. So you're already twisting. Oh yeah. So you got to back, back it up. Hey there. Hang on. So you started twisting before you. There you go. So let me show you again. Get it in. It's so hard to do over the fence. Me, sure, monkey, John, here we Get it in there and gently feather it and let it drop on and turn it to where you need to go. Gotcha, gotcha. Go crazy man. Yeah, that's good. That's
We gotta go under the fence right here. It's gonna be tight. It's under. Yeah, looking good. How are you feeling there, George? <laughs> Burn it. <laughs> you got, <I> whooped. <laughs> your voice hot? Yeah. It's hot. <laughs> it's hard to stay upbeat when t with temperatures like this, isn't it? <laughs> it is. People don't understand humidity. It's well, about 86 degrees. It'll bite you. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we're all soaking wet with sweat, guys. We got the job almost done here. Just wanted to thank you guys so much for joining us here on the Stony Ridge Farm Channel today. These guys have been instrumental. I could not have done this without them. This is probably 70% of the new fence project, and I've got the fence crews coming back next weekend to finish up the rest, tie up the rest of it, and get the cows in here munching on this. I think we may run some goats in here first, though. This is where I'm going to get my goats. Hey. Horn and Hammer Kikos. There'll be a link down in the video description. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks, sir. Give me a woo. Woo! <laughs> Give me the woo that you feel like. <sighs> <laughs> See you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your kids. We're living life pure and sweet. That's the way it's supposed to be, Stony Ridge.
Gonna have all them brain cells a firing. That's a mighty nice beard you got there, buddy. That's what you got. Me, sure, Marky. Y'all can listen. Should have put a gate here. <laughs> <laughs>